record. Um, and I will let some people hop on. If you don't care, I am going to share um, just a couple of things before we get started. And I'm not going to take up much time, but um, I did want to share with you guys. Welcome to our team call. Um, there are um, just a couple of things that I want to to share with you guys. I've posted about it in our team page, uh, but one. Super Saturday is this weekend. So that is, if you live close to me locally um, in Corinth, if you live close to us, we have a Super Saturday. If you're within like an hour driving distance, please, please come. Don't skip Super Saturday. Um, that is something that I really didn't make a priority in the beginning, honestly, because there really wasn't one around me. And I wasn't, um, very, you know, like I wasn't at the point where I could just do one. It would have been like me watching Super Saturday by myself. Um, but it is like we have a big enough team and a lot of you guys are close enough to a Super Saturday. So please get to one. Um, I know that, you know, like if it's, if you've already got something planned, I understand, but they are so important to one. Ah, she's taking a picture. <laughs> Um, they are so important because like I say this all the time, like we do this behind our computers, like we don't, you know, it's very easy to just get, to get bogged down and to like get, get tired of doing the work and not talking to people and all that stuff. And I think that Super Saturday is important because you meet other women who are doing what we are doing, other men, women whoever. Um, and you get to, you get to fellowship, you get to interact, you get to find out how other people run their businesses and the information from corporate is really good. And it's just fun to get together and work out with other people, I think. Um, so come to ours, go to another one, whatever, just get to one, uh, because I know there are some close to you guys. So, uh, the second thing is that we are, so when my challenge group started today, so if you've been inviting to my challenge group, keep inviting. Like I'm cool with you adding people to our challenge group through this week. We're in prep week and we can easily get people started um, with those prep week tasks. So if you, especially with all access, if you have people like I had somebody that signed up today, um, you know, if you have people that are signing up, please, 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 you know, just continue to uh, invite this week. Don't give up on Success Club. If we have to start another challenge group, we can. October 2nd, um, but just keep inviting because you guys can do this. And two guys, you know that all access challenge pack, it ends this month, that sale ends this month. I have no idea. It was $1.99 before. I don't know if it'll go back to $1.99. I'm hoping it'll be like $1.80 or something. You, you just never know. Uh, but that is a humongous deal. And so like one thing, I shared this with you guys um, last week, but one thing I've been doing, if you are Emerald and you're getting leads, like go back and look at people who are ordering Shakeology. If they're getting a recurring order of Shakeology or if it's a new order of Shakeology um, and you know they don't have the, the all access membership, go and tell them, you know, like on your next order of Shakeology or by the end of this month, do you want to just order that all access challenge pack because it's going to save you like what? 40 bucks. And, um, you know, I did that and I had one lady that would switch her order. So like get creative. I mean, like you can, you can hit success club. You just got to pay attention. You got to be inviting. You got to be, be, um, be aware of everything that's going on. Third, uh, we, I'm doing a sneak peek next Monday. So if you are not doing your own sneak peek and you want to invite to mine, we are doing that next Monday. It will be during the, 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 We'll post during the day on Monday, and then we're going to have the live opportunity call like right now in, in place of our regular team call. And so like I have had a couple people who tell me they want to post in the group. They have some people they want to invite, and they want to go live in that group. I would love for you guys to do that. If you are a newer coach, if you're not running your own sneak peek, and you want to to go live in that group during the day next Monday, you're inviting people, um, then then please let me know so I can make sure that you get that opportunity. Guys, we can't grow a business if we're not growing a team. Um, it's really hard to make any money off of just selling challenge packs. Like it's just, it's, you're just going to be like spinning your wheels all day long. So uh, no matter if you're a new coach, if you're an older coach, if you've not been inviting, if you have been, 
please, please, please don't skip inviting to coaching every single month because that is how your team grows. That's how your income grows. That's how we share this opportunity with other people. And so like that, make that a goal. Um, I may even, depending on the interest and depending on what you guys want to do, I may do like a, like kind of a lunch and learn later next week as well. Maybe on Thursday, do it at noon, do a live opportunity call. Um, I'd like to do that just to see what kind of interest I get because I've never really done one of those before. And I think it would be a good opportunity for me to show like, look, I work full time, but I make time for this business in my pockets of time. Um, and so like that is my goal for next week. So invite to our coaching opportunity, go to sneak peek, keep inviting. If you're not at success club, like get be, 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 be busy about doing that. And so tonight I am going to turn it over to Chris Parrott. She is a friend of mine. Uh, we met, was that what, a January Super Saturday? Um, yeah, we had, we had kind of, I guess, talked and met each other in, in, um, our, our Facebook groups, but Chris is a diamond coach. She has been a coach for, it'll be two years in November and her team is team busy fit. But, um, if you don't follow Chris, please follow her because she just makes me smile and she makes me laugh and she has got like this funk and this fire that is just like contagious. But she is going to talk to us about um, getting to Success Club and she's going to share with you guys like why that's important and she's going to give you some, some kind of applicable things that you can take with you tonight. So I'm going to turn it over. Oh, this is so exciting. So Mondays are normally really crazy. I don't know what your busy day of the week is, but um, Mondays are kind of crazy for me. But when Rachel asked me to do this call, I was like, I, I'll figure it out. Like, I was so excited, so jazzed to come talk to you guys because the, the admiration is actually very mutual right on back because I just, I love following her. I will be honest. I think you guys have an incredible leader here. Um, she didn't pay me to say any of this stuff. And, um, <laughs> um, and I, I really, you know, we're going to talk about big shiny and how it's really easy to get distracted by it or whatever it is that you guys call it. Um, but there's so much going on in, in coaching and it's so easy to get distracted. And one of the things I've done that I'll talk about tonight is, um, is not following a lot of the coaches, like a lot of big coaches and you get distracted by them and you're following all the top ones. And that's good to do when you're first starting out. So if you're just starting out as a coach and you're like, you're trying to figure out who you are as a coach, that makes complete sense. But when you start to get more comfortable at what your brand is, there's very few coaches that I actually follow anymore. Rachel actually is one of three of only three that I still follow because she is just, she just, she, she just hits home for me, you know? And, and when you find that coach that does that for you, they don't have to be on the dream team. They don't have to be, they could be anywhere in this network. You know, we've got a network of 400,000 coaches. There's somebody out there for you to identify with. Um, and so when you do that and you find that person, it makes it a lot easier to, to just kind of identify your brand and, and to drive it home because you know that there's more people out there like you. So um, with that said, I just want to give you guys a little bit of background in case you don't know me. And um, like Rachel said, I, uh, my team is Team Busy Fit, and we talk about that because we talk about, you know, we make we have to make time. We have to make fitness a priority for us. We have to make, you know, this healthier lifestyle living um, fit into our lives. And I, my background is in 2014, um, I was over 200 pounds. I stopped getting on the scale at 200. We just we weren't going to do that anymore. And um, I'd had two little boys. They're about 20 months apart. And at the time when my one and a half year old, it was a Saturday in December. And when my one and a half year old came to take my hand to get me up off the couch just to play with him. And I just sat there and I had, I, I couldn't do it. And, you know, we've talked about finding that why and having that moment. And it was right then and there that it hit me that I, I've got to do something that my life has got to change because I felt like I was barely holding on by a thread, trying to manage a full-time career, trying to manage two boys. We were living overseas at the time. Um, and I, I, I couldn't get it together. I, I, I was just happy at that point that I hadn't forgotten my kids anywhere. Um, but I was so, I was so overweight. I was so unhappy with myself. I was so depressed. I couldn't figure out why here's the big kicker. I could not figure out why I could have such a successful career. Um, I, I could be doing so many, I have such a great loving husband, um, great friends, and I couldn't keep my eating under control. And really I couldn't keep my eating or my drinking under control. So it was, you know, at 200 pounds at my kid 
like finally realizing that I needed to do something for them. Um, and I needed to just take that first step. And that was that first day that I said, I got to take control of my life. And that happened to be right when P90X3 was coming out. And I had no idea how I was going to fit it in my day. Um, because you know, you're not sleeping at night when the kids are getting older and everything. And I, um, but I, I made it happen. Exercise wasn't the hard part for me. Um, it was going to be the nutrition, but it was just being that consistent in the exercise and getting some control back in my life. And that was fantastic. Fast forward, 21 day fix came out. Life was, I mean, like the aha moment for busy parents, busy moms, busy anybody that you throw it in a container and you can eat it. I didn't have to think about these comp. I didn't have to be a mathematician you know, to, to figure out these complex food formulas. So, you know, we, we fast forward, I, I finally hit 70 pounds, that's seven zero seventy 70 pound weight loss story. I'm super excited about it. But what I'm more excited about is that I started coaching when I was still on my weight loss journey. Um, I'd probably lost maybe 30 pounds at the time. And I, and I tell you this because um, when I started coaching, I purely signed up for the discount. Like, yeah, if I can save 25%, all right, that's great. And so for any coaches that are on here, wherever you're at in your journey, I like talking about this because I can talk about the three different phases of being a coach because I've been there. And so when I started out, I, I, I literally signed up in November of 2015. I signed up as a coach. I signed up for the discount. I had a bunch of friends that came to me and said, what are you doing? I want to do it too. It's that share that be out there, share that story. And I, and instantly I had three friends that signed up with me and I hit success club in my first month. And I don't even think I really understood what success club was. Um, and I know that sounds really weird, but Melanie said challenge packs. And I said, okay, challenge packs. I got it because that's, it was a no brainer for me. It's here are the workouts. Here's 21 day fix. Everybody in the world needs and deserves to feel this good about themselves. So it's not always that easy, right? But for the next couple of months, it was pretty easy for me. And I, I just, I felt this great sense of pride in being able to share that with people and being able to pay that forward. But what happens is in, in the meantime, I still had that very busy career going on. I have a full-time career. I still have a full-time career. And quite honestly, I love my job. Um, as crazy as it gets, and there are some days that I would just, I would love to be um, just staying at home a little bit more or being able to have a, a lighter schedule to be able to take in with the boys. There's part of me that doesn't really want to, um, to leave that career. I've got a lot of projects that have become passion projects for me that I, I don't want to leave behind. But I do have a husband who is miserable at his job and is working on his PhD right now. Um, and I would love more than anything to be able to, um, be able to provide a sabbatical for him, for him to be able to take the full sabbatical. Um, and so that's really, we went from that discount coach to the hobby coach to that, that light bulb going on a few months ago when I kept saying I wanted it for me. When in reality, I, I finally had to admit that I didn't necessarily want it for me. And it's, it's okay. Just because you hear everybody else saying, Oh, I just want to get out of my job. I hate it. It's a dead end. Everything like that. You have to figure out truly what it is that you want out of coaching. And I'm saying all of this to get to the point of, okay, you just heard me say, I want to take a full-time career and I want to take coaching to make a second full-time career out of this for the income so that I can do something for my husband, so I can do something for my family. And I, I love doing that. I love doing that for others. I am, I am the giver for people. I'm the, I'm the one, I'm the caregiver. So with that said, that means my time is very precious. I think all of our time is really precious. But when you start doing that, you, you have to commit your time in very focused and very specific areas. And one of the things I do every single month, there have been months, there have been months that I have wanted to do so many things. And I have these big grandiose plans, but what it really boils down to is what can, how many people can I bring on board that I can still, I can still bring them on in a quality manner. Like I don't just bring challengers on just to, just to hit numbers. I don't bring them on. I don't bring coaches on just to hit numbers. I bring them on based on what I can know that I can onboard them with and I can start them right with. And what that number has always been is three to five. I can do three to five consistently every single month. And if you guys know what that means, that means success club. That is your, that is your goal. Um, and it just becomes that ingrained goal to hit every single month because why they're not asking you to bring on 500 people every month. It is a very realistic baseline number for you to be able to hit 
um, for coaches uh, and, and to, to be building that team. Now, why three to five people? Because three to five people just starting out on a journey for me is three to five people need have a lot of questions. They have, they take up a lot of your time. We know this, that challengers will take up a lot of your time when, when they first get started because they have a ton of questions. But that first time that the, the person comes back to you and says, oh my gosh, I just did this for the first time and it worked so perfectly. And you're like, and they, they thank you for that. Totally worth it, right? Mm -hmm. um, you have to hang on to those moments, that totally worth it moment um, to get you through some of the crazier times that are going to happen in, in your in your business because the crazy times are going to happen. You're going to have these ups and downs. You're going to have highs and lows. Be prepared for that. The only difference that people look at this differently, I will actually ask you to ask yourself, when you talk about coaching and you talk about yourself as a coach, how do you talk about it? Because if you talk about it as a commitment, as you talk about it as a non-negotiable, like I am a coach, that is just another role that I play in my life, then you're going to be a coach and you are going to go out and you're going to set realistic goals. You're going to set some big goals and you're going to try to hit them, but you set those small goals every month and, and they've identified that it's success club. Um, and that's, I will say I started out in November of 2015 and I hit success club my first month and I'm coming up on November of 2017. And you know what, knock on wood next month, as long as I hit it next month, I'll be at legend status. It's just one of those things that no matter how busy you are, and for those of you that don't know what legend is, legend is when you hit success club for 24 months in a row. Um, and it just became a goal of mine. Like once I hit that, once I hit that first month and then I hit the third month, I'm like, all right, I can kind of do this. I hit the six, the sixth month. Um, it just becomes that non-negotiable in your business and you set that goal. And there were some times that it would be like, the very last day of the month and it's 10 o'clock at night and I am, I, I'm scrambling. I'm committed. I'm like calling in the favors, like, come on, you know, you know, you want to sign up. And slowly I finally realized that I could hit success club. Like we start talking to people, I can hit success club and I can set that goal to hit it by the fifth of the month or the 10th of the month. Um, so success club five by the fifth success club 10 by the 10th. And I did this because I, realized I wanted to start moving my business forward, but I still only had those small pockets of time. And when I have those small pockets of time, um, I, needed to, I needed to still be filling my pipeline. So we hit the success club with the challengers. And I always, for me personally, I start with the challengers first. Those are the people that are really looking for, um, for, for that change. And that's that change that I really want to help um, initially. Um, but if I want to grow my business, I obviously have to be growing and attracting coaches as well. But it becomes the same theory. It becomes the same pipeline that we're, we're talking from. So if I'm bringing in those three to five challengers every month, that's more opportunity each month, three, three to five people, you know, six to 10 people, 12 to 15 people. And it just keeps growing and more and more people that you have to grow a team. And it gets really exciting, but it takes up more time. So that's why by the very beginning of the month, I want to get success club out of the way. I just set that as a goal for myself so that I can get that recognition. And you know what? Honestly, I like having that recognition at summit. If you guys have been at summit before, it's so cool. Like they reward you for it and you get to walk around with your little badge of pride and it says success club all-star. And that, that just means a lot to me because that means I've helped a lot of people and I've been consistent, in, consistent in it every month. And it's, it's important that you realize it because it's the same consistency that we are as challengers that we are as coaches. And so when I asked you, how do you talk to you, talk about yourself or think about yourself as a coach? If you think about yourself as I am a coach, like I am going to get down. I have my business hours. I set it every single night. This is, this is the, my checklist. I have to do this, this, and this. And we're going to talk about the three things that I do above and beyond anything before I start looking at what I call the big shiny. And so you know what, let's just jump right into, into these three things. And you guys have heard them before. This is nothing going to be new to you unless this is your first week as a coach. And if it is your first week as a coach, awesome that you're already on the call. I think that speaks highly of your team already. But the first one I do when I'm doing business building practices, the first one I do, you will see for me every single morning is my workout. I am a product of the product. I talk about it. I walk the walk. 
so that the people that I am trying to attract are those busy moms that are thinking that they don't have time to fit it in their life. And I get to turn around and say, yes, you do. You can do this if you want to do it. Um, so it is my workouts. It's my consistency with my nutrition. I love sharing um, quick tips on my food uh, because that's what we all want the oh, I can't eat healthy. Oh, it was just easier to go to the drive-thru. No, if you had planned a little bit ahead of time, you'll be able to have just as healthy and just as quick of food on hand for you. Mm -hmm. um, the second thing that I always do as a business building practice every single day is my invites. And you guys can roll your eyes all you want if you don't want to be doing inviting, but if you're not inviting, if you don't invite anybody to your party, ain't nobody going to come. So that is, it's the hardest thing to do. It I, I want to tell you that it gets easier as you, as you, the longer you're a coach. And I will say that it's not necessarily that it gets easier. You get more well-versed and more confident in what you're going to say to different people. So every time that they have an objection, I, I will give you this hint right now too, if you haven't figured it out, people want to object. They want to say no. They want to give you a million and one reasons why they don't want to live a healthier, more fulfilling life. Guess what? I want to hear every single excuse that you have, and we are going to have a conversation back and forth, and I'm going to tell you every single time why you're necessarily not right. And they may or may not know it yet, but guess what? They're going to join me as a challenger at some point. Um, they just don't realize it yet. So if you guys don't know the statistic, it takes approximately six touch points um, or bringing it up to somebody before they're going to agree or commit to something. So if somebody has only told you no once, you've got a long you got a long way to go. So guess who's going to be on your challenge group invite list that very next month? That person that said no. Mm -hmm. And that list is going to grow. And that mm -hmm. list is going to grow. And I am really sad. I didn't bring it down. I'm sorry. Um, I keep it on a sticky note. I don't have a big fancy filing system because I'm on the go so much. And most of my business is done from my computer, from my phone. So you know what? I, I make sure that I have something that is portable with me that works for me. So it doesn't matter what your system is. If you use Teamsy, if you use Streak, if you are like me and you still have a sticky note and you write out a giant sticky note every single month with every person that you're going to be inviting as a challenger and then as a coach to this business, that's what you do. But you do something so that you can track it every month because you are going to lose conversations. The more your team grows, the more your business grows, you will lose these conversations. Um, and you don't want to do that. You don't want to leave people out because their silence is not the same as your silence. Your silence is that you may have lost a conversation. Their silence is they got distracted by something else in life. And I can't tell you how many times I've sent a message. They don't, they don't respond. And I'm like, oh, I'm off going and doing something else. It was, I needed to have that system so that I can get those. I can have that list to work from. It's a very focused list. And I send out no matter what, I will send out five invites or start five conversations every single day. Five, not some astronomical number. I don't have time to have, because if you think about it and you send out five and all five respond back, and then you have all five that respond back the next day, there's 10 conversations going on because very rarely does a conversation wrap up that day. Um, and you think about how many conversations you could have going on by the end of the day, uh, end of the week. I can't, I, I don't have the capacity to be running a hundred different conversations. Um, so I have to manage that. So I would rather not get distracted by these big, huge numbers and goals that I see everybody doing. And I have those five quality conversations. And if I'm having those five quality conversations with people and I'm really digging into, you know, what, what they're not, what their fitness is, what their nutrition is, what they've done in the past, you know, really asking the questions and, and how, wherever it branches off from there. I know by the time this is done that they, you know, that they've had knee surgery, that they can't do squats, that, you know, they've tried every single program under the sun and that it's failed because they didn't have the support or they, you know, their kids get them distracted or they want to eat ice cream at nine o'clock at night every single night. And they love, you know, mint chocolate chip, whatever it is. I love knowing that about people and those details, because when I can turn around and say, all right, now this is why you're going to join my challenge group. And my, my presentation to them isn't just, here's a link. You don't just shoot them the link. Um, I have a long process. I, you know, why? And I break down the nutrition. I break down Shakeology. I, dra I break down, you know, the workouts for them. And especially with on demand now, it is so easy for busy people. Like you take it anywhere. So like that just made my job even easier as a coach talking to people. So, okay. So that's number two is that you're, you're consistent in your invites um, and, and why and how you are. Pick a number, pick a number that you're comfortable with, 
And that's just what you do every single day. It doesn't, I, I have been closing, I've been falling asleep at night. It's been 11 o'clock at night, but I've got those last invites in. And, but they were genuine. They were genuine invites. I didn't just check the box to check the box. It is that number that I need to keep moving my business forward consistently. Okay. Um, and then the other one is add daily. And when I say add daily, I mean add daily to your friend list. And if you are a Facebook person, if you are a, an Instagram person, if you are um, Snapchat, God forbid, I don't know how Snapchat works. I'm sorry. I just, it doesn't compute in my brain. So I, I cannot speak intelligently about Snapchat, but I can, I can speak about LinkedIn. I can speak about Pinterest. I can speak about a lot of things, um, different areas. I I am pursuing in LinkedIn a lot more because I have a lot of very professional business connections and a lot of them are the same thing that they are, you know, it's, it's not having the time it's balancing that career and, and finding that balance. And so I am able to, I have a whole new set of I, like Facebook. I just, I don't, it feels weird to just friend request blind people to me. That's not comfortable. I don't find that genuine. We have to have a number of friends in common. I have to like, maybe I knew them at a party um, and they're the sister of somebody that I met at a party and we clicked and we had a great conversation. Then I can add them on Facebook, but I just, I know they tell you to go through and blindly add the connections. I find LinkedIn for me to be a little bit easier because I can say, oh, you are in HR. You have, you know, the same certification as me. When did you get it? And the conversations just start a little bit easier for me. So if you're kind of a weird workaholic like I am, LinkedIn might be the place you might want to go explore. But, um, and that's just my recommendation on that. But you're adding to your network daily. And you know what happens when you add to your network daily? Your market never goes cold. You never have to go out looking for cold people because you're already developing new people. You're already developing new contacts. You're already developing these, these leads and identifying and making these friendships. So then, it, then it's not awkward. You're not like, hey, girl, I have a, I have a challenge group coming up. I was, I was thinking of you for it and thought you might be great. And people are like, we've never even talked about fitness. Like, I love my workout routine. And then you're like, yeah, well, I still want you to sign up with me. Thanks. All right, cool. Crickets. Crickets, crickets. Um, and so it's just easier to form. And so when I'm adding daily and I'm adding that network daily, that, that keeps that market warm and it's kept it warm for 24 months, hopefully. So the system seems to be working. Um, and if it's not, then you adapt. I think that's why I ended up going out to LinkedIn. That's why I ended up um, more on Instagram because Facebook just wasn't, um, it was still, it's still my primary, but I just kind of needed to shift where I was going with that. Um, and so I do, the, I do these three things every day. You notice what I didn't say in there. I would love to be the person that makes a million videos a week. I would love to be the person that has those really cute Pinterest cover pages. Um, and it's really well organized. Um, I would love to be the person that has this like incredible value added content on my like page. Uh, I'm getting there slowly. I look at people, I look around me. Um, and I see a lot of people that were able to dedicate a lot more time. Um, but I can't get distracted by that. I can't get distracted by there's, you know, a million and one coaches like we were talking about in the very beginning. Um, it's, it's noise because all of that stuff, while it's really good information, or if you get on, you know, the 411 page or the Beachbody Champions page, or there's a million and one trainings going on, or there is, it, it, the list goes on and on and on. And you will find yourself going down a rabbit hole. And then all of a sudden you will look and say, I haven't invited in the last two weeks. I've been so busy in this. I've been so busy in coaching, but I haven't been busy in activities that are actually driving my business forward. So get into the practice. If you don't do this now, get into the practice of um, getting the invites out of the way, getting your success club out of the way. Um, and I shouldn't say out of the way, but get that box checked for you um, so that you can like kind of focus on a little bit more with the coaching. You can focus on a little bit more of the projects that you wanted to do. It's kind of, I use it as a reward for myself now. My blog, don't ever go to my page right now. I'll tell you guys when you can all go to my page because I got it all set up. I'm excited. And it's got the, um, and I have all these ideas and I go to put them in and I was like, oh, okay, I got to figure out how to actually put these in. And so it's all still in Latin, I think, like the, you know, the, the placeholders that, that are up there and stuff. Yeah, so don't, don't go to my blog page. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Like, I, I will get to my blog page. I have an intro up, so you actually know who I am. Um, I'm excited about that. I, my recipes have gotten shared 
uh, in my group. My recipes get shared um, on my, I finally have a board up on my Facebook. And someday that Facebook page will go over to my Pinterest page. And someday it'll go onto my blog. It's slow. And I, you have to be okay with that. You have to be okay with the pace that you move. Um, and the time that you have available, because it's just like, I'm not going to interrupt the time with my children. I, I'm not going to interrupt my time at my career during the day. And I'm not going to interrupt my coach time. Like that's, it's my segmented pieces throughout the day. And that's, that's what we do um, overall in the big picture. And then when you break it down, when I sit down to coach, I get those invites out of the way. I've already got my workout done first thing in the morning because I, I know it was actually post worthy that I, I worked out on a Friday night or that I just worked out on a night period. And I wouldn't, if my entire challenge group hadn't called me out and was like, uh, yeah, we'll see you tonight, Friday. I doubt it. Um, I actually worked out on a Friday night, night workout tonight. Just don't get along. Like it doesn't happen. All the excuses will happen, whatever. It took me an entire year of coaching of only working 30 minute pockets at a time. So by the way, don't think you need giant blocks of time either during your day. Um, I did 30 minutes on my commute into work and 30 minutes on my commute home from work. And that's what I worked my business for the first year. And I still hit success club every single month, um, because it was following those three basic principles. And I would have people now that come to me because they've seen me consistently in the workout. It wasn't for them at the time. It's their time now. They're ready now. They saw me consistently. They've seen me consistently for the last two years. So it be, be okay with getting crickets when you do a, a health and fitness post. It freaks people out. But they're all watching. And there are, there's, Facebook loves to have creepers and stalkers. And they're such bad words. Um, they're such like just creepy words. But there's no really other word for it except that they're watching. They're watching you and they will come to you when they are ready. They will come to somebody when they're ready. Who is it that they are still seeing, I think is the most important part. So don't, don't be discouraged if you're not getting the people right away, if you're not getting the likes on it. Um, because if you open up a challenge group and you are so excited for it and you still haven't hit success club and you don't have anybody in your challenge group, guess how many people know that you don't have anybody in your challenge group? You. This is the only person that knows that you don't have anybody in the challenge group because nobody on Facebook knows that you didn't have anybody in the challenge group. So just like Rachel said, guess what you do? We're opening another challenge group in two weeks. Oh my God, I am so excited for this challenge group that I need to bring it to the rest of you. And nobody on Facebook knows any different or any, anywhere you're at on social media because you're not going to go out on social media and be like, oh my God, nobody told me, nobody signed up for my challenge group. Will you sign up for this next one? No, no. Social media knows what you tell it. So you take the big happy highlight reel, make it awesome, and create even more excitement for that next group. And that's what you do. If you haven't hit Success Club, you keep running those challenge groups until, and opening them up until you do hit Success Club because that's exactly what's going to happen. People are going to see it like, oh my gosh, you just opened another one? Oh my God. Or I'm only accepting you know, five more people. I'm only accepting 20. It's, there, there's so many um, theory, or there's so many ways to approach it. There's no reason you can't hit success club. Three people, three people every single month that you're asking to help improve their lives, that you're bringing something that has changed your life to them. You're sharing it. They want to be a part of it. And if they don't want to be a part of it, they will want to be a part of it someday later. And just remember that and stay, you got to stay strong and stay positive about it and stay true to what your message is. So um, that's, I don't know how long I talked because my watch just died, but um, how did I? <laughs> no, that's good. That's awesome. I took a bunch of notes. Like I have a whole, like she did that too. Um, hey, I wanted to ask you, you said you invite five people a day and I always get this questions for, this question from coaches. Um, is that, does that include like just flat out like invites or does that include your connects too? Um, that is my flat out invites. Okay. And my invites are, they don't have to be new people. They have to be who if we're being very honest here, my invites are people that are new, that would be new success club generating people. Right. Okay. So I have, I have not gotten those two points from them. If I haven't gotten two points from you, you count as an invite if we're having that conversation and yeah. I, I'm getting you to that next group. Yeah, absolutely. And yep. so like after you hit success club, do you, you keep inviting? I do. What I, I've, 
I've played around with it and I used to do nothing but just invite to success clubs or uh, into challenge group, challenge group. And I would run two challenge groups a month. Mm -hmm. And then I really, that's the shift came earlier this year. We've talked about that before the shift came when I realized like I wanted to start growing a business. So that's the other reason I hit success club five or 10, um, by the fifth of the 10th is so that I can spend the second half of the month dedicated to inviting to coaching to get people into that next um, new coach university that we're going to be having. Um, excuse me. Um, because I do, I want to grow that business. And if, if I want to make that significant income, I know I need to be growing that, growing the team and, and growing that foundation underneath me. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um, do you guys have any questions for Chris about how she does any of this or have anything to add or anything like that? We do have some newer coaches and we have some coaches who we'll get all kinds of coaches on here. Honestly. Um, did anybody else have any questions about any of that? Did I talk too fast? I talk really fast. I'm sorry. I thought it was great. I thought it was it, great. It keeps everybody awake if I talk fast like this. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's good. Um, and I like your point too about, you know, just, just keep showing up because like, I mean, that's what I see so many coaches who like, one or two people tell them no, and they're like, you know, and they just don't come back the next day. And that's, you know, I mean, you and I can attest to the fact that so many people have told us no, you know, like you said, you know, people are going to come back to you. The lady that signed up as a challenger today, she told me no, like a bunch of times last year in 2016, she tracked me down, found somebody that had my phone number today and called me on my cell phone and to tell me she was ready. And, you know, like, that's the thing, like this is, it's, if you've read, I'm reading grit. Have you read grit? Have you read the book? Yeah. That treadmill yeah. analogy, like you know, you you get kicked off the treadmill one day, but you come back and you try it again the next day, and that is what success is. It's not talent. It's not having the right words. It's just who shows up the most and the longest, honestly. And um, I think that you, you kind of drove that home tonight. So thank you for doing that. Um, all right, guys. Well, you if y'all, huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just I was going to throw a, an example on there too. The same thing to mirror yours is. Um, I, I had a challenger who is now a coach who's one of like an awesome coach on my team. Never, she signed up as a challenger um, four months ago, had never liked one of my posts ever. I never even knew she was, I mean, we've been friends, like we were in Germany together. I never knew that she was even like struggling on a fitness journey, but she had been watching every single one of my posts mm -hmm. for a year. Mm -hmm. And then she, the, by the time she came, uh, she was like already ready to sign up. And, and then she was just like, yeah, and I want to coach too. I like, as she went through her first challenge group, she completely rocked it. She was that amazing story that you want, yeah. that you're one in however many get. So do just it's from the girl that has been, I have battled depression my entire adult life. I've battled my weight my entire adult life. And so for me to be someone that gets out there and talks about health and fitness and, and to be able to be that story, to be that consistent, to be the happy person, because I was not a, I, I was a very mean, depressed person. And, and it was an, it was an ugly place to be and to be able to come out of that. Um, and to be able to talk about that now and to be able to help other people is incredible. But I will tell you, it's hard some months because that doubt creeps back into your mind and it's going to creep back in your mind. And you just have to remember so much more why we do personal development, why we work out and why we take care of ourselves and become challengers first and foremost, because we have to be strong for so many other people until they know how to be strong for themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a really powerful thing that we can do that we can pay forward to people. That's good. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was awesome. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to share this with other people who weren't able to be on. All right, guys. Well, that's all I got. So now we know let's some practical stuff to go and do and set goals for yourself every day and just keep showing up. Get back on the treadmill again tomorrow. No matter what happened today, no matter what people said to you today, like just get up and do it again tomorrow. And I promise, I promise it pays off. We are like living, walking, talking, breathing proof. Okay. All right. Good night. I'll see y'all soon.